What's up, people? I'm on the way to work. There's a train. It's... I'm not going to turn around. It's too much rain. It's crazy. Um, but anyway, I was thinking, you know, since there's a train out, let's have a story time. So I'm on the way to work this morning, right? And I'm driving. I get about downtown area. And, you know, rain starts happening. Traffic starts getting a little crazy. And the craziest thing, I saw like an entire watermelon, a.k.a. watermelon. I saw an entire watermelon just on the side of the road busted up like someone had like i don't know taking the taking it and then did that fruit ninja thing like cut it in half right and then just start eating it and then they just got tired of it and just threw it out the window just busted watermelon i'm like what's going on why the watermelon on the side of the road i don't understand exactly why that was there but anyway i'm like cool you know no 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 worry no worry so driving about another three or four miles on the road i get to about i don't know broadway extension with a 63rd street something like that and there's another entire water Malone just sitting on the side of the road all busted up. Like the person just had that first one, said this is good, but I think I need another one. Had another water Malone busted it up on the side of the road. What is going on today? I don't get it. I don't understand why someone has like a whole water Malone, decides to eat it in their car, obviously on their way to work, then throws it out on the side of the road. I don't get that. I don't get that. Now listen, I know what you're going to say. That doesn't make any sense. Someone shouldn't get like an entire watermelon open it up in their vehicle and decide to eat it and throw it out their window. I mean, that doesn't make sense, right? Right? You're saying probably what really happened was there was a watermelon farmer with some watermelons on the back of his trailer. Maybe he hit a bump, hit the brakes through hard or something like that, and had to actually throw the water, and maybe maybe it fell off the side of the, you know, the, the truck and then smashed on there. And that possibly could make sense, but I'm just going to let you know, we don't have enough information to confirm that. So I'm going to go back to my original story that some person was on the way to work, had a aching desire for a water Malone, took it out, busted up in the car, ate some of it, and threw it out the window. That's, that's, that's what I'm going to go with, right? That's what I'm going to go with. You're like, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, but we can't approach the story from a with, with missing information, right? I mean, that's like saying you have X plus A equals uh, 1,733, right? But then they tell you to solve for X. You don't have A. So you don't know what's going on exactly. You can't go there. So until I can figure out what A is, I'm going to keep with my story and say that X equals somebody got hungry for water Malone on the way to work, busted it open, ninja, fruit, fruit ninja style, ate some of it, let the water down, chunk the sucker out the road. That's what I'm going with. That's, that's what I think happened. What do you guys think happened? Uh, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Man, it's 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 story time. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm at a train stop, so I'll be here for a while. So anyway, let me know what you think happened. Why were there two whole watermelons busted up on the side of the road on a highway within like four miles of each other? Maybe the funniest person gets a watermelon or some watermelon seeds. I don't know. Let me know. See you guys. Happy Friday. It's been a while since I did a video. Happy Friday.